book of Genesis, when God called Abraham and told him to go and sacrifice his son. In today's language, go and kill his son, Isaac. Because he said, offer him as a burnt offering. So burnt offering is, first of all, you cut the animal to sizes, and then you burn. So what God asked Abraham to do was to go kill Isaac and burn him. Sometimes when we read these Bible stories, we seem to lose the perplexities, the, the force it had on the people who were the actors. Just imagine God telling you to go and kill your own child as sacrifice. Remember that Isaac was Abraham's son of promise, right? It's like Abraham waited for Isaac to come. And look at God's tone. Look at God's voice. In, as if God is even a very wicked person. He called Abraham twice. Okay, once. Abraham. Abraham said, yeah, I'm saying, take your son. Then he added, your only son. So God is demanding Abraham now that it's only one son he has. But it's only one son Abraham had. Abraham had another son, Abi, Ishmael. So for Abraham to be sure, God wanted Abraham to be sure of which one he's asking for. Because if God had left Abraham to choose between Isaac and Ishmael, which one to keep? Which one do you think Abraham would have taken? So God made sure that that confusion didn't arise. Say, your son, your only begotten son, Isaac. And God even added salt to the injury. Say, whom you love, Habana. Then go to the land of Moria and sacrifice him. So Abraham was to lose the only thing that made meaning in his life. Let me see whether this one story and three illustrations will help us to understand. Somebody was falling down from a high cliff and was, you know, descending towards death. By luck, his hand grabbed a shrub. A shrub is a, a big grass that has a firm root. So he was hanging between heaven and earth, but his hand was beginning to be weak. So he cried out in desperation, said, God, if you are there and you truly, truly exist, come and save me. There was silence, there was no noise, no voice. He cried out again. After the third one, he now had voice. And God said, I exist, I am here. And the guy started thanking, oh God, thank you for coming, thank you for coming. Then God said to him, all right, I'm here to save you. God said, leave that shrub here, hold. And there was silence. There was silence. The guy didn't say anything as if he didn't hear. God said, I said, leave what you are holding. And then the guy said, eh? God said, yes, I said, leave what you are holding. And the guy said, God, are you sure you are the one? God said, I am the one. I said, leave what you are holding. And the guy said, I'm not stupid, though. <laughs> Let me ask, if you are the one, would you leave that? Thing? Why would you not leave it? There are many reasons. He has not told you. At least if you want me to leave what I'm holding, now let me see something else holding my leg, Abby. He has not given any alternative, and he's telling the guy, leave what he's holding. We have a saying that a bed at hand is the same thing that God did to Abraham. To watch full videos and get notifications for new ones, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. God bless you. Sign up with the largest community of Catholics online, make new friends, chat, post pictures and videos, make and receive audios and video calls, interact with lots of priests and religions, download the app from Google Play Store.